So there's the stock transfers, nothing fancy. It ends, I mean, we got like a quarter inch before it hits the wall there. And then there's like a quarter inch divider in the middle. It starts really slim and grows as it gets to the top. There's like a little wall there it hits. And then on the other side, it's just not even fully open. Very rough on the edges. As you can see some of the casting is still just hanging there. So clean that up, widen it up. I don't think I'm gonna raise any of the transfers, upper transfers. All right, I can't use my flash on this. So as you can see, there is that little nub that was sticking out right there. It's just, I clean that up, went all the way through, slim that divider up, as you can see, and just kind of went to a point. And then on the left side, I widened it all the way to the wall. And I opened it up on the left and oh, raised the skirting up you can see on the stock side here it just got to about a quarter inch there so the transfer should flow a little better and i will widen the intake i don't think i'm going to do much to it and then the exhaust is pretty big so i just kind of I didn't get too crazy. I wanted to take another eighth off each side to slim up the divider there and um, didn't get around to that. But I just kind of roughed everything up that I did touch. So the intake I did kind of widen a bit and just drop it, just a hair. And then I just kind of roughed that up all the way around you couldn't get too crazy there as you can see you'll eat through the wall pretty quick it's just the way these are casted so and then i just widen the transfers and uh, i did not raise them but once again i just kind of roughed everything up same thing on the other side and i Raised it to just even with uh, even with the base here, and then I just kind of just made it to where it went to a point, and yeah, not too bad. I did kind of have a nick here, but I think that'll be all right. I should probably cut the base for that, but I don't have anything to cut it with. And uh, no one around here wants to cut it, and I don't really care. So if it doesn't work out, I'll just, instead of getting it cut for I don't know how much money, I'd rather just buy a whole new saw. So, I mean, they're only like 100 bucks on mine. So, yep, get her done. I also removed the base gasket, which it started with about 55,000 squish. And uh, after I removed the base gasket, it was around 33 thousandths, maybe a little more, 34 thousandths. And um, in the future, I want to get a pop-up piston to possibly bring it up even closer. Might have to do some chamber work, but this is all pretty much down and dirty, so I'll probably avoid that. Cause...
put my echo in inside this. the chain so too great but believe me it's not the piston i thought it was but it isn't it isn't the piston it's definitely the chain brake i've uh because when you take off the bar and all that it it doesn't make the noise so i think i had that problem with my green echo as always thanks for tuning in hope you guys subscribed um tell me what you guys think if you haven't watched the last video of me unboxing it, I run it a little bit. Watch those clips and tell me if you guys think there was a pro an improvement. Cause I did go back and cut the same log that I was timing. And it was a couple seconds faster, but I didn't really like get to adjust the car by the time the log was gone. So yeah, it definitely feels stronger. I guess it all could be a kind of a fluke or me kind of thinking it's stronger than it is but when I run my other saws this one is the winner right now for the 50 cc's and it's only a 43 cc saw. So.